Hey friends, I'm Ashley and welcome to Ash's Cozy Corner. The second Steam Next Fest of the year is here and I cannot even begin to talk about all of the cozy game demos we were blessed with. This Steam Next Fest is running from now until June 17th at 1 p.m. Eastern time and that's when most of the game demos are leaving. That means we only have a few days to play as many demos as possible. With so many options, I made this video to narrow the options down of what I'm going to prioritize playing starting with Fields of Mystria because I already played it and now I'm going to force you to play it. In Fields of Mystria, start your new life. Build the farm of your dreams as you discover a world brimming with possibilities. Magic, romance, and adventure all await you in this nostalgic farming life sim RPG. With Fields of Mystria, think farming sim vibes mixed with Sailor Moon vibes. It has that beautiful pixel art most of us love with a beautiful color palette and all of the features that a farming sim would need, like farming, fishing, mining, and crafting. If you like to romance, the bachelors and bachelorettes of the game are all amazing, with 12 different options to choose from. There are also some amazing animals to raise, and even rare color variants that you can get from breeding in-game. Perhaps the coolest part is the magic that's involved that allows you to have fun perks and bonuses if you use it. Anyway, this demo Please, if you have ever listened to me before at all and you like farming sims, definitely give this demo a try. I absolutely fell in love with Fields of Mystria. The movement was nice, the character designs are gorgeous, the combat in the mines controls so well, I could go on and on. After I bought a game in early access two years ago and it's still not finished or even really being worked on to my knowledge, I had a bad taste in my mouth for early access games. However, I will 100% be purchasing this game as soon as early access releases in August. Hopefully, it restores my faith of early access games. If you want to see a first look of this game, I'll pop my video up right here. Fields of Mystery also has Steam Deck compatibility. Next up is Sally. This is another one that has been on my radar for so long. I talked about this game pretty early on on my YouTube channel, making a whole video dedicated to what Sally will be like, so I'm ecstatic to see that they released a demo. Sally is a life sim game about community and belonging. Embark on a grand journey aboard a magic flying ship. Navigate daily life as a kid with a diverse crew unique to every game. Craft, cook, farm, Arm, build, and explore the skies as you become who you want to be amongst your found family. This one really interested me from the beginning because it just seems different. A lot of cozy games are starting to blend in for me, but this one has always stood out. I love that the main focus is community, especially since your character is a kid growing up with the other kids on the ship. Each crewmate will have their own emotions, tastes, interests, memories, and more, and you'll get to have friendships and rivals. What makes this even more interesting is that the characters aboard the ship are different in every different playthrough you create, making this game have high replayability. Another interesting addition is the experience points which you can spend to unlock new skills which helps you to grow your specific role and you will also help crewmates hone their craft to reach their full potential, bringing back that community aspect of the game. More good news, Sally does have Steam Deck compatibility for the demo. Garden Witch Life is next. Experience a cute, cozy witch life. After losing your job, your life just took a whimsical turn. You're now on a quest to create a magical food forest and make it a home for all kinds of adorable creatures. I think I need to answer the first question everyone was clearly wondering about this game. Can you pet the animals? Yes. Yes, you can. Okay, now that the most important question is out of the way, let's talk about the other less important things in the game. It starts out with a desolate wasteland that you have to restore to a thriving garden area. Of course, it has decorating as you have to restore the garden, but there's also tons of cute decor you can put in your little cottage house as well. It looks to have a cute mini game. The trailer does show chopping a carrot, so I hope that means that we'll actually play some part of the cooking process and not just throw the ingredients in to cook something. Definitely going to try that out in the demo if I can. The villagers are so cute and fun, some looking like imps and others being a cactus, and I love that it has variety for the villagers. I've mentioned on my channel probably millions of times that I'm a sucker for colorful games, and this one definitely fits that vibe that I love, so I'm excited to try it. Petite Island is next. 
Oh gosh, you guys, I'm four games in and I cannot get over the wholesome, cozy vibes of all of these games. Welcome to the beautiful and tropical Petit Island. Relive your grandpa's youthful adventures by exploring the island and meeting all the unique islanders in this heartwarming, open world, narrative exploration game. Preserve his memories before they fade away. You play as Lily and you go on a quest to relive the stories of your grandpa and also potentially discover some new stories as well. To do so, you have to take photos with locals, tourists, animals, and anything you can find. I've been a cat person my entire life. I own five cats, so anything with a cat as the main character, I automatically have to love. I also do photography as my full-time job, so having a game I can play as a cat photographer, I mean, it's perfect. Did you see all of the catamization? It's absolutely meowrific. Even the villagers are great. If you scratch their back, they scratch yours. Just seeing this trailer makes me want to go biscuits. I totally said those puns like a year ago in a different video, but you know what? They were so good, I had to say them again. Seriously, friends, check out this demo for a heartwarming story involving a cutie kitty. Okay, so you already know I'm obsessed with all things productivity and any tool that can help with productivity. I have talked about Spirit City so much on my channel, and yes, I'm still using it every single day when I work. And yes, I still love that dang game and the cutie spirits. Links in the description. You may be wondering why I'm bringing up a game that's not part of the next fest, but that's because there's another cute productivity game in the works called Weirdlets. Weirdlets? I think it's Weirdlets. Weirdlets is a virtual pet game that harmonizes relaxation with productivity. Collect adorable items, customize your pet in its home, and bring your loving companion to your desktop to boost real life tasks, enriching your daily routine with a touch of joy and motivation. How many productivity games? can I have on my computer without one, actually getting distracted from them, and two, blowing my computer up. Spirit City, Rusty's Retirement, and now Weirdlets. I'll keep you updated on the health of my computer and my productivity. I do love that Weirdlets lets you personalize your pet with accessories and also decorate your home. You can use your pet to dig for loot while you work, which is how you can get new goodies and unlock new items. This game also has a Pomodoro timer and a to-do list to help you get things done. Okay, okay, so I don't normally put games like this on my list normally. They're just not really my style, so I don't really know what to say about them most of the time. However, Love Ghosty is really cute and I wanted to give it a shout out in this demo video and also try out the demo myself. Become a wholesome ghost matchmaker and grow relationships between the manor's residents. Give items to lift their spirits, set them up on dates, and watch love bloom. Discover cute romances with a unique story between every pair of residents. How will love blossom in your manor? Okay, even this part in the trailer. Guess what we do in the afterlife? Matchmake. How cute is this? Every single character in the game is able to be matchmade with any other character in game. No boundaries on that. You get to watch as residents go on dates and unlock relationship scenes between them. And with a total of 12 residents, you can discover 66 combinations of couples, each with unique storylines. Yes, we have another cat game on this list. This is a good year for crazy cat ladies like myself, with two being in this video and also Little Kitty Big City releasing not too long ago. This one is Neko Odyssey. Neko Odyssey, a game for cat lovers you can't miss. Here's a slightly unusual casual adventure game where the main gameplay centers around taking pictures of cats. The pixel art graphics in a 3D setting create a charming atmosphere reminiscent of Japanese animation. This game is all about going around and taking photos of cats in true cat environments. Not even joking, every photo that was taken in the trailer of a cat, I have taken that exact same photo of my cats at some point. You'll have other things to do than just take photos, as some of the cats have to get to know you better for them to allow you to take photos, so you'll have to charm them into friendship. There's also a main storyline where you unravel the mysteries of the town based on the photos you capture. Cat lovers unite, go play this demo and let me know what you think. Ashley, me out. Okay, no, I'm kidding. I still have demos to talk about. 
Critter Cove, <laughs> Critter Cove, Critter Cove is up next. A deep open world life sim and town building game set in a cozy post-apocalyptic paradise. Restore an old town, sail across a mysterious archipelago, hunt relics and farm, fish and craft everything you need. Can you help turn Critter Cove into a thriving tourist town once again? <laughs> More cat characters am i going to combust sadly you don't have to be a cat as there's tons of customization but i definitely encourage it this game has some beautiful views and scenery that i can guarantee will be extremely cozy other than the thunderstorms of course and i cannot wait to explore the island the storms are kind of good i guess as you can find new residents for your island shipwrecked after the storms there's farming and tons of crafting every time you explore you'll find resources to craft a ton of new items with every rundown building is a chance to make it brand new and attract even even more tourists, making your town completely unique to you. And yeah, you will want more tourists because the more tourists, the more money you have to do all you want in game. I don't know if I show it much in my typical videos, but I love causing chaos in a good, funny, wholesome way, of course. So I'm loving all of the chaotic games recently. I've mentioned it already, but Little Kitty Big City released not long ago, and now Just Crow Things has a demo available, and it's very similar similar to Little Kitty Big City and Untitled Goose Game. You're a little crow trying to prove herself to the world, poop on unsuspecting humans, and steal all of the shiny trinkets. Each level is a little sandbox full of fun items to discover and puzzles to solve while leaving a little bit of chaos behind. Why? Just cause. This one is definitely more chaotic. Just watching the trailer, I know I'm going to be laughing so hard the whole time. I mean, you can poop on people and there's even different poop modes depending on what kind of food you eat. There's cute hats, scarves, and more to customize your little poopy crow with because of course you have to look dapper if you're spending the day pooping on people. Something unique about this game specifically is that there are different locations to go to such as the French Riviera, Ancient Egypt, and even New York. There's a blowtorch as well. I don't know what the use of that would be and I don't think I want to know even with my love of chaos but you can try and let me know. Last but not least, On Your Tail. Embark on an intriguing seaside getaway you'll never forget in On Your Tail, a sleuthy, story-driven 3D life sim of relaxation, investigation, and knowing how to play your cards right. This is another game I don't think I would typically include on a video like this, but it does intrigue me quite a bit. Like Critter Cove, the island is absolutely gorgeous and definitely brings the comfort vibes inspired by an Italy town. There are tons of characters to get to know and love, learning how to help them with their problems and forming bonds. On Your Tail actually has more included than I thought, with mini games like fishing, playing games at the arcade, card games, and more. You will be solving some mysteries while on the island, but don't worry, you're just trying to find a thief, not a killer. At least, I hope not. The Steam page mentions how you spend it is up to you, so maybe I'll just skip the mystery aspect? I'm kidding maybe. If you made it this far in the video, you're amazing and I'm so thankful that you spend any time at all watching my crazy videos. Steam Next Fest is always a joy and I hope you get to play as many demos as possible during the fest. Let me know what other cozy demos you've played or are wanting to play and recommend them to the people in the comments below. That way we are not wasting any time with the seven precious days that we have. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a cozy day and God bless.